This is June from Planet June and today I'd like to show you the best way to close up the remaining hole when you've finished crocheting a piece of amigurumi. Cut the yarn leaving a long tail. Draw the remaining yarn end through the last loop on the hook and pull tight. Now thread the tail onto a yarn needle. Here I have six stitches remaining around the circle and what we're going to do is stitch into each of these to close up the remaining hole neatly. We're going to work into the front loop only of each stitch. These are the loops that are closest to the outside of the hole. So we're going to ignore the back loops which are close to the inside of the hole and just work into the front loops. So we're going to begin working around the circle, inserting our needle under the front loop only from inside to outside. Insert the needle under the first loop and draw taut. Now insert the needle under the second loop, again going from inside to outside, and draw taut. Going from the inside of the circle to the outside, inside to outside, inside to outside, inside to outside. Now I've gone the whole way around the circle and you can see I haven't pulled it tight, I just pulled each stitch taut. So now it's time to pull it tight as you would with a magic ring and the hole completely closes. We are left with a slight bump, but we'll fix that in just a moment. Insert your needle back into the centre of the circle and pass it through the piece, coming out on a different side, and pull it through. When you pull it tight, the bump will retract inside. Now all you need to do is snip the yarn off close to the surface, and then squash the piece around so that the yarn end will retract back inside. Use this method together with the invisible decrease and the bottom of your amigurumi will look almost as neat as the top. And that's the ultimate finish for amigurumi.